I volunteered for the draft. When I graduated from college in May of 1967, it became obvious that I was going to be drafted. So I found out that you could go to Selective Service and sign a paper volunteering to be drafted ASAP. On my birthday, June 20th, 1967, my 22nd birthday, I went to the draft board downtown in Washington. I told them what I was there for and they gave me a paper to sign it. 21 days later, I was inducted. America held its last draft call on December 7, 1972, and transitioned to an all-volunteer force in the waning years of the Vietnam War. The nation's draft was followed by converting to an all-volunteer force and national security readiness system in 1973. The success of the all-volunteer force is apparent. This nation is fortunate to have military heroes who serve this great nation as both volunteers and draftees. In recognition of the 50th anniversary of the last draft call and the conception of the all-volunteer military, we salute those individuals who were drafted and bravely served America in the United States Armed Forces with honor and courage in times of war and peace. Thank you for your service. While I was going through it, I thought it was the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I couldn't see anything good about it. I couldn't wait to get out. I started thinking about it probably when I was in my 30s. And I came to realize that it was a valuable thing in my life. You know, it turned out to be the ultimate rite of passage, you know, being wrenched out of this middle, middle class life and thrown into this situation where I was living, you know, 24 hours a day with people from all walks of life. The other thing is I served, you know, I served my country. I didn't want to. But I did, I, and I didn't want to go to that war, which I hated, but you can't choose your war. I feel like I owe a debt to the country, and I paid it, you know, and it helped the country, and it helped my, myself to really grow up in a way that and appreciate things more, I think, than almost anything else that could have done that. Yes, register for the draft. All men and women should serve the country, whether it's in the military or something else. And so as far as selective service, yes, I think they should.